This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In many 3D animation packages, making a character speak can be a bit of a daunting animation task. But luckily, in Poser, the whole process can be automated using the Talk Designer. Now I've set Ryan up here in a kind of a presentation pose, and you might want to add an animation of Ryan to a PowerPoint presentation, for example, with the speech that you want to say. So I'll first of all zoom in on Ryan's face. I've set up the face camera here. And then I'll open the Talk Designer. So the Talk Designer is found on the Window menu. And I'll come down to Talk Designer here. It's just underneath Walk Designer. And then I click on Talk Designer. Then the Talk Designer interface opens. So the first thing I want to do is add the sound file that I want to use. And the Talk Designer then will synchronize the animation of Ryan's head to match the sound file. So I'll click on the Browse button here. And that's the file I want to use, Keep Talking.wave. This will be included with the training title, by the way, for you to practice with yourself. I'll click on Open. And that file is now loaded. Now I'll add some supplemental text here. And I'll type in the line that Ryan will say. And this will help the phony morphs of the character match the sound file, just to confirm that everything will work properly. So that's Ryan's line. I'll close the supplemental text box now. And you can see that the default language here is English. Now the Visi maps, these supply mouth movement then to figures that don't have the correct phony morphs. Some figures won't. The default figures that come with Poser do. In fact, they're all listed here. So at the moment, the Ryan Visi map is selected. But for some third-party figures, they may not have phony morphs included, but they might have a Vizim map file, which is another way of setting up the mouth morphs. So you can import those if you want to. Now the configuration box here shows that the Ryan casual figure is selected. And also the start frame is 1 and the end frame is 90. This has actually matched the length of the sound file. So Poser will automatically create the length of animation required. Now the keyframes for the talk, or the speech, will be in an animation layer, a new animation layer. They could be added to the base layer, but I would recommend you keep the default of new animation layer so that that won't affect any other animations you might have added to the scene. Now I'll increase the enunciation here slightly. I'll move the slider up to about 7. And that will just make the mouth movements a little more distinct. And also you can include some head motions here. Now an important one is blink rate. If you want to make the character appear a lot stronger, or more confident, or more focused, you can reduce the blink rate to nothing. This is an actor's trick. If you want your character to appear powerful on screen, then you don't blink during the scene, and it causes much more concentration on your eyes. You can also create a certain amount of eye motion here to make the character appear more natural and human. You can create head motion as well. And you can also tweak the emotions of the character. Now I'm going to turn up the joy dial a little bit. Some weird things might happen to the preview here, but I'll just pull the joy slider up to about 20. You can see Ryan just starting to smile there. So you can add emotional presets kind of to your character's face, just to set the mood of the scene perhaps. So that's essentially set up now. I'll click Apply, and that will be applied to the Ryan figure. And then I'll close the Talk Designer. So with everything in place, we're ready to animate. So then I'll click play, and this will just loop through. All you have to do is keep talking. All you have to do is keep talking. And as you can see, Ryan's moved his head into a slightly strange position there. So I'll come back to frame one, and I'll adjust the camera to compensate then. There you are, let's bring it back up. And I'll leave it there at frame 1 so the camera should remain in place. So then I'll start again. That should look a little bit better. And you can see what's happening. All you have to do is keep talking. 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 So there you are. That's just a 90 second loop there. And that's ready now to be rendered.
and this is a fairly painless way of adding speech to your animation.